Today we start the differences between the mixed degree of uh, first, second, and third level. Yesterday topic uh, complete किया गया था. इसको हम complete कर लेते हैं. आवाज आ रही है? Now we start the uh, bubble span. Okay, uh, mixed first molar, second and third molar. Uh, make a uh, difference over. Okay, uh, bubble span. Me uh, first of all, I'm taking a from the uh, widest of three major bubble uh, of uh, three uh, cusp moderate width and the smallest of the three distal buckle cusp, but shorter than mesial buckle cusp. Okay. Um, Brown height kya okay? Brown height uh, on distal slightly lesser than on uh, mesial. Second molar distal crown height much shorter uh, than mesial, and uh, third molar distal crown height much more shorter than mesial. Uh, distal crown tilt uh, uh, crown nearly upright on the root base. Uh, crown shows uh, slightly uh, distal tilt on root base uh, due to shorter distal buccal cusp. More distal tilt on a root base. Mesial and distal profiles, mesial and distal crown outlines nearly equal uh, size. In second molar, me kya hoga? shorter only mesial, um, distal crown outline shorter than mesial crown outline. And uh, third molar, distal outline much shorter than mesial outline form. Occlusal surface uh, on buccal uh, uh, surface uh, uh, nearly horizontal, uh, slant uh, equally uh, uh, cervically, uh, mesial to distal, uh, slant uh, more uh, cervically towards the distal. Buccal dental groove separating two buccal cusps are uh, relatively longer. Second, may kya shorter or uh, distal may kya hai? shortest. Buccal with more pronounced buccal groove. Of an ends uh, here in buccal pit, uh, second molar uh, less marked and uh, third molar may be absent. Proximal contact, mesial distal uh, adjunction of occlusal and middle third, uh, middle third uh, and uh, um, uh, distal be middle third or uh, third molar may middle third no distal contact. Okay. Visibility of distal surface uh, from buccal view portion of distal surface visible as the distal surface. Triples buccally and uh, second molar distal surface of crown not visible. In third molar distal surface of crown not visible. And cervical uh, ridge on buccal surface prominent uh, cervical ridge. Uh, in second molar less prominent and uh, third molar uh, least prominent cervical ridge. Now uh, lingual aspect. Okay, uh, lingual aspect. Uh, Crown uh, with lingually crown is uh, as wide and uh, wider than buccal surface. In uh, mandibular uh, lingual width narrow than on uh, buccal surface. Uh, narrow on lingual than buccal. Lingual convergence uh, least are uh, uh, no lingual convergence present in uh, second molar slightly lingual convergence and more lingual convergence in third molar. Number of cusp on lingual aspect, two lingual cusp, uh, 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 one accessory cusp, cusp of carabelli. In a second molar, uh, two in four cusp type, rhombidal shape. Uh, agar hoga to rhombidal shape mein four cusp honge. Agar uh, um, kya hai aapka uh, third molar ki tarah hai, to three type honge. Thikha? One aapka cusp hoga on uh, lingual surface. Usually a distal lingual cusp absent. Occlusal surface uh, uh, nearly horizontal, slants uh, cervically um, uh, medial to distal, and the slants more uh, uh, to the uh, uh, cervically, the buccal aspect. Uh, uh, okay. Now, uh, distal lingual cusp kya okay? never missing. Uh, mixillary uh, first molar mein, uh, kya hai? Two cusp uh, present in buccal per or two hai lingual per. Okay. Or mixillary second molar mein kya hai? Uh, distal lingual cusp uh, 
जेसु ने वह कष्ट क्या है एब्सेंट है इन थ्री कष्ट टाइम और थर्ड वॉल में क्या यूजली एब्सेंट होता है साइज ऑफ डिजिटल लिंगवल कास्ट डिजिटल लिंगवल कास्ट स्मॉलर देन निजल लिंगवल कास्ट इन सेकेंड वॉल डिजिटल लिंगवल कास्ट मच स्मॉलर देन निजल लिंगवल कास्ट लिस्ट साइज आर इंटायरली एब्सेंट एसेसरी कास्ट क्या होगा कस्प ऑफ कैराबिलाई प्रेजेंट ऑन द मिगजरी फर्स्ट वॉल इन सेकेंड वॉल रियली एट प्रेजेंट एंड द थर्ड वॉल नॉट प्रेजेंट ठीक है कस्प ऑफ कैराबिलाई इज एडिशनल कस्प लिंगवल टू द मेजर लिंगवल कस्प कैराबिलाई स्ट्रेट्स मे बी एक्सप्रेस एज वेल फॉर्म कस्ट और टोबर्कल ग्रूप और ट्विट कैराबिलाई स्ट्रेट इज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ मिगजरी फर्स्ट वॉल lingual fragmented group uh, present between the two uh, lingual cusp relatively long present in four cusp type rhomboidal form of two, uh, second molar in third molar absent mesial aspect uh, number of cusp visible from mesial aspect mesiobuccal mesiolingual and cusp of cerebellum in second molar uh, mesiobuccal mesiolingual and uh, uh, third molar mesiobuccal and mesiolingual Buccolingual with crown is narrow. Buccolingually on distal than mesial side, and uh, crown uh, is uh, more narrow buccolingually on distal side. In third molar, crown is much narrow uh, buccolingually on distal side. Contact areas mesial contact area narrow than distal. In second molar, mesial and distal contact areas are equally broader, and third molar broader mesial contact and uh, no distal contact. Height of contour. बकल एट सर्वाइकल थर्ड प्रोमिनेंट सर्वाइकल रेज की वजह से होता है और सेकेंड मोलर में सर्वाइकल थर्ड एंड थर्ड मोलर सर्वाइकल थर्ड लिंगुअल मिडल थर्ड ठीक है वेंटर स्पेस लार्ज लिंगुअल क्रेस्ट ऑफ कंट्रोल मोर ऑफ क्लोजली इन सेकेंड मोलर मिडल थर्ड एंड थर्ड मोलर मिडल थर्ड डिजिटल स्पेक्ट डिजिटल सर्फेस एरिया शॉर्टर इन थर्ड सेकेंड मोलर शॉर्टर एंड नैरो एंड थर्ड मोलर शॉर्टर एंड नैरो लार्ज In second molar smaller, and uh, third molar smaller, absent. Uh, now mixedary first molar uh, complete. References uh, class trait are uh, complete. Any question? Now we start the uh, mandibular uh, first molar. Mandibular first molar. This is a mandibular first molar, second molar, and uh, third molar. Infected teeth. Now we start the first molar. Can you infected teeth? Who are they? Who? Uh, आपके अरब नहीं हो पाए तो तो उनको हम सर्जरी रिमूव uh, करते हैं या कट करके uh, उसके लिए अरेप्शन के लिए स्पेस बनाते हैं नॉर्थ फर्स्ट परमानेंट मोलर टू कैल्सिफाई एंड अरेप इट इज नोन हैज सिक्स मोलर ग्रुप व्हाई इट्स नंबर इन द लोअर आर्च इज सिक्स एंड इट्स अरेप्शन डेट इज Six years. Functionally, it considered to as the key of occlusion. Introduction: The permanent mandibular molars are the three most posterior teeth in each lower quadrant. Like their mixillary counterparts, uh, they are named first sixth molar, second twelfth molar, and third molar wisdom tooth. 
they are the largest and uh, strongest teeth in the mandibular arch mandibular molar crowns are much larger than those of mandibular premolars in all dimensions except occluso gingivally where they are slightly short their general size normally decreases uh, from first molar through third molar uh, the mandibular molars uh, function with the maxillary molars is in grinding and uh, they form root structure and bone spur are uh, uh, so uh, to uh, this uh, root A review of uh, features when uh, serve to differentiate mandibular and maxillary molars include number one is the crown, which are wider mesodistally than buccal. Crowns which are rectangular are pentagonal from a closer aspect. Crown which are rhomboidal and inclined to the lingual from proximal aspect. मिक्सेलरी मोलर्स में जो ज्योमेट्रिक शेप होती है प्रोक्सिमल एस्पेक्ट की वो कौन सी होती है यस मिक्सेलरी मोलर में प्रोक्सिमल एस्पेक्ट ज्योमेट्रिक शेप क्या होगी मिक्सेलरी मोलर्स की शेप क्या होगी प्रोक्सिमल एस्पेक्ट में आंसर जल्दी बताया करें नो आपसे मिक्सेलरी पूछ रही हूँ नॉट मैंडिबुलर यस ट्रेपिजॉइडल होगी ठीक है नॉट रोबाइडल रोबाइडल क्या है आपकी मैंडिबुलर मोलर्स में होगी मेन डिफरेंस आपका यहीं पर आपको पता चल जाता है जब आप डिफरेंसेस लिखते हैं मिक्सलरी एंड मैंडिबुलर के तो आप उसमें क्या आपको फौरन से आपको पता होना चाहिए कि मिक्सलरी मोलर्स की जो ज्योमेट्रिकल शेप होती है प्रॉक्सिमल स्पेक्ट में वो ट्रेपिजॉइडल होती है और मैंडिबुलर की क्या होती है रोबाइडल होती है बकल एंड लिंगुअल स्पेक्ट जो होंगे वो ट्रेपिजाइडल होंगे और मिक्सलरी में फोर स्पेक्ट जो है वो ट्रेपिजाइडल होते हैं The presence of four or five major cusps of which there are always two lingual cusps of approximately the same size. Mixillary first molar में कितने cusps होते हैं? Mixillary first molar में कितने cusps होते हैं? Zishan, आप बताएं. मिक्सेलरी फर्स्ट मोलर में कितने कस्प होते हैं फोर जो है वो आपके नॉर्मली जो है फोर नॉर्मली आपके प्रेजेंट होते हैं फोर मेजर होते हैं और वन माइनर होते हैं द प्रेजेंस ऑफ टू रूट्स इन मोस्ट केसेस ठीक है मिक्सेलरी फर्स्ट मोलर में क्या है थ्री रूट्स प्रेजेंट होते हैं और मैंडिबुलर मोलर्स में क्या है टू रूट्स होती हैं ठीक है मिजेल एंड डिस्टर और जो मिक्सेलरी फर्स्ट मोलर सॉरी मिक्सेलरी मोलर्स होते हैं उनमें टू बकल रूट्स होती हैं और वन पैलेटल रूट होती है नेक्स्ट इज नंबरिंग सिस्टम यूनिवर्सल नंबरिंग सिस्टम क्या होगा राइट थर्टी होगा और मैंडिबुलर लेफ्ट लेफ्ट फर्स्ट मोलर क्या होगा नाइनटीन होगा मैंडिबुलर राइट एंड लेफ्ट 
Next, you can have quadrant sign and uh, six, right and left. Third molar, four, six, and uh, mandibular left, first molar, three, six. Four, six, kya hoga? Four quadrant number hai, six, uh, tooth number hai. This is a uh, mandibular uh, left, uh, jo hoga, usme three quadrant number hai, or six uh, tooth number. Uh, general form and function. Uh, the first molar is the largest and the strongest tooth in the lower arch. It uh, normally exhibits five functional curves. Okay. Mixillary me kya tha? Four functional curves the or one minor curves tha. Mandibular first molar me kya? Five curves me, three buccal honge or two lingual honge. Okay. And two well developed roots. The crown is wider mesodesly than buccolingually. And in fact, the major distal dimension is greater uh, than that of any tooth in the mouth. Uh, the crown is relatively short, uh, occlusal cervically. Uh, the only dimensions which is uh, normally less than that of the teeth interior. It uh, displays a trapezoidal outline from the buccal and lingual. It exhibits a rhombidal uh, form uh, from either proximal aspect. From the occlusal, the general outline is pentagon. In mastication, it functions with the other molars in grinding. Mixedal first molar me kya tha? Occlusal aspect kya tha? Rectangular shape tha. Is me kya hai? Pentagonal shape. Number of surfaces, uh, it has uh, five surfaces buccal, uh, lingual, mesial, distal, occlusal. Number of roots, it has two roots. Buckle aspect. Geometric outline. Trapezoidal. Trapezoidal kya hoga? With small uneven side present cervically and broad surface is the occlusal surface. Mesial outline concave till the contact area at the junction of the occlusal and middle one third and convex occlusal to the contact. This is the mesial outline. Mesial outline kya hai? Concave. Concave. This one. Concave. Contact area at the junction of the occlusal and middle one third and convex occlusal to the contact. Occlusal se kya hai? Convex hai. Aur jo aapko cervically nazar aari hai, this is the concave. Distal. This is a distal outline. Distal outline straight till the contact area beneath the distal cusp bridge. The distal margin is generally more convex then the mesial outline. Occlusal outline. Occlusal outline kya hai? formed by three cusps. Okay. Mesial outline thi kya thi? Occlusal uh, one third se kya tha? Convex thi. Or cervically uh, jo tha wo concave thi. Distal outline kya tha? Straight or convex se. Ab kya hai? Occlusal outline. This is the occlusal outline. This one. Okay. Occlusal surface jo aapko nazar aari chaving surface is called the occlusal surface. Occlusal surface formed by three cusps. Okay. Occlusal surface per kya hoga? Aapko buccal aspect per three cusp present hote hain on mixed uh, mandibular first molar. This is the mesiobuccal cusp. This is the distobuccal cusp. And third is the distal cusp. Uh, the occlusal margin is wider than the outline at the cervical. It is divided into three portions by two grooves. Okay? Kya hai? Divided by two grooves. This is the Buccal groove. This is the distal buccal groove. Okay. 
क्या है ये मीजियो बकल ग्रूव है और ये सॉरी मीजियो बकल कस्प है और ये क्या है डिस्ट्रो बकल कस्प मीजियो बकल और डिस्ट्रो बकल कस्प है कि बिटवीन आपको जो नजर आ रहा है दरमियान में दिस इज कॉल्ड द बकल ग्रूव डिस्ट्रो बकल एंड डिस्टल ग्रूव के दरमियान जो आपको ग्रूव नजर आ रहा है कस्प के दरमियान उसको हम क्या कहेंगे डिस्ट्रो बकल ग्रूव सर्वाइकल आउटलाइन स्ट्रेट विद डिपिंग इनटू द रूट बाइफर्केशन एनाटॉमिकल लैंडमार्क्स क्या होंगे आर टू डेवलपमेंटल ग्रोथ्स दिस इज अ मीजियो बकल दिस इज अ बकल ग्रूव दिस इज अ डिस्टो बकल This is the medial buccal cusp. This is the distal buccal cusp and distal buccal cusp. Cervical reach at the cervical one third. Developmental depressions run medial distal in the middle one third. This is the middle one third. Roots. Uh, the roots twice the length of the crown. The axes of the roots are inclined distally. This is a distally inclined root trunk, three millimeter. This is the root trunk, three millimeter. Deep developmental groove extend on the root trunk. Any question in buccal aspect? Buccal aspect. Me, any question? Hey, any question? स्टार्ट द लिंगुअल एस्पेक्ट ठीक है लिंगुअल एस्पेक्ट में क्या होगा लिंगुअल कन्वर्जन टू कस्ट प्रेजेंट मीजल लिंगुअल एंड डिस्टो लिंगुअल मीजल आउटलाइन स्ट्रेट थिन द कॉन्टैक्ट एरिया एट द जंक्शन ऑफ द अप्रूजल एंड अप्रूजल एंड मिडल वन Distal outline in the contact area near the distal cusp ridge. Occlusal outline formed by two lingual curves, mesial lingual and distal lingual, of nearly equal width. Cervical outline irregular with dipping into the root bifurcation. Anatomical uh, landmarks. This is a lingual developmental growth. Buccal aspect was what? Three uh, uh, cusps present: the medial buccal, distal buccal, and distal. Or in uh, two grooves present: the buccal groove and distal buccal groove. In lingual aspect, uh, between the medial lingual and distal lingual, के दरमियान जो आपको ग्रुप नजर आ रहा है, this is called the lingual developmental group this is a lingual developmental group the uh, buccal aspect this is lingual aspect uh, the root trunk appears longer uh, on the lingual surface due to theek hai buccal mein kya hai kam hai aur lingual aspect mein kya hai zyada hai kis wajah se hai The occlusal position of cervical line, किस वजह से? ठीक है, occlusal position of the cervical line and lingual conversions की वजह से जो है, 
लिंगुअल एस्पेक्ट पर जो रूट uh, रंग है वो लॉन्गर देन लिंगुअल सरफेस लिंगुअल सरफेस नेक्स्ट इज द मीजियल एस्पेक्ट मीजियल एस्पेक्ट ज्योमेट्रिक आउटलाइन क्या होगी लोम्बाइड एंड इंक्लाइन लिंगुअल बकल टू द लिंगल साइड एनाटोमिकल लैंडमार्क कॉन्टेक्ट एरिया सेंटर बिटवीन लिंगुअल बिलो द क्रस्ट ऑफ मार्जिनल फ्रिज दिस इज द कॉन्टेक्ट एरिया डीप ट्रीटमेंटल डिप्रेशन ऑन द मीजर सरफेस ऑफ द रूट डिजिटल इंस्पेक्ट द क्रॉन इज शॉर्टर डिस्टल मीजियल में क्या है लार्जर देर इज डिजिटल कन्वर्जन डिजिटल मार्जिन रिजिस इज यू शेप ठीक है डिजिटल इंस्पेक्ट जब आप देखते हैं तो डिजिटल इंस्पेक्ट पर आपको क्या है दिस इज यू शेप डिजिटल मार्जिनल रिजिस प्रेजेंट इसमें क्या है शॉर्टर है एंड मोर सर्वाइकली देन मीजल मार्जिनल रिजिस डिजिटल कॉन्टेक्ट एरिया लोकेटेड बिलो द डिजिटल नो अक्लूजल स्पेक्ट ज्योमेट्रिक आउटलाइन एक्सपोनल ठीक है सिक्स साइडेड है क्या है मीजियो बक्कल ठीक है डिस्टो बक्कल डिस्टल 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 मार्जिनल रिजिस दिस इज अजियल मार्जिनल रिजिस लिंगल फॉर्म इज रेफलीबल um the distal portion of the uh, buccal outline tapers uh, towards the lingual uh, to create the fifth side of the outline uh, the crown is wider mesodistally uh, than buccolingually and it is a uh, widest mesodistally towards the buccal and widest buccolingually towards the mesial buccal outline okay the buccal outline is uh, separated into three sections by the two buccal grooves the relative length of the three portions decreases distally so that the mesial buccal is longest distal buccal next and the distal is the shortest the buccal line angles are quite rounded especially when compared to those of inferior teeth and premolars lingual outline the lingual margin is divided into two slightly convex portions by the lingual groove the mesial portion is slightly the longer of the two mesial outline the mesial outline is divided into two approximately equal segment by the mesial marginal groove distal outline the distal is the shortest of the four margins uh, and consists of two convexities separated by the distal marginal groove boundaries Uh, the occlusal table is bounded uh, approximately by the two marginal ridges mesial and distal 
and on the buccal and lingual by the medial and distal cusp ridges of the five cusps. Components of the occlusal table, uh, there are normally five cusps, all of which are functional, although the distal cusp is much smaller than the others. Despite uh, its name, the distal cusp is grouped uh, with the mesobuccal and distobuccal cusp are one of the three buccal cusps. Uh, however, from the buccal or occlusal aspect, the reason for the grouping is evident. Mesobuccal cusp, the mesobuccal is the bulkiest cusp and uh, the longest of the three buccal cusp, although rather blunt and rounded. Mesobuccal cusp has four cusp ridges, uh, which are um, um, number one is the buccal cusp ridge. The buccal cusp ridge extends cervically from the cusp tip about uh, halfway down the buccal surface. Lingual cusp ridge extends lingually to the end at the mesial portion of the central groove. It is the longest and most prominent of the four ridges. Mesial cusp ridge, uh, this cusp ridge extends easily to the mesiobuccal occlusal point angle area. Distal cusp ridge, it extends distally to the buccal core. Distobuccal cusp ridge, except for the distal, the distobuccal cusp is the smallest of the cusp and uh, has a rounded tip. Uh, the distobuccal cusp has uh, four cusp ridges, uh, which are uh, buccal cusp ridge. Uh, the buccal cusp ridge extends cervically from the cusp tip about halfway the width of the buccal surface. Lingual cusp uh, ridges, the lingual cusp uh, ridge extends mesolingually to the area of the central tip. Mesial cusp ridge, uh, this cusp ridge extends mesially to the buccal group. Distal cusp ridge, uh, it extends distally to the distobuccal group. The, uh, the four inclined planes of both the mesiobuccal and uh, distobuccal cusps are named similarly, uh, similarly uh, those of the other posterior teeth. The inclined planes of the three buccal cusps uh, are all functional, while only the buccal two are functional on the lingual cusp. Next is the mesolingual cusp. Uh, along with the distolingual cusp, uh, the mesolingual cusp is the longest and sharpest of the cusp and is the second size to the mesobuccal cusp. Uh, there are four cusp ridges, buccal cusp ridge. The buccal cusp ridge extends from the cusp tip and distobuccally to the end of the mesial portion of the central group. Lingual cusp ridge, uh, the lingual cusp ridge extends cervically about halfway down to the lingual surface. Mesial cusp ridge, this uh, cusp ridge uh, extends mesially to the mesolingual occlusal point angle area. Distal cusp ridge, it extends distally to the end at the lingual group. This is the distolingual cusp. The distolingual cusp is quite sharp, uh, but it's slightly smaller in size than the mesolingual cusp. Distolingual cusp has four cusp ridges, uh, same buccal cusp ridge. Uh, the buccal cusp ridge extends from the cusp tip mesobuccally to end in the area of the junction of the distobuccal group and the distal portion of the central group. Lingual cusp ridge, uh, it extends in a cervical direction to the middle third of the lingual surface. Mesial cusp ridge, the mesial cusp ridge extends mesially to the lingual groove. Distal cusp ridge, it extends distally to the distolingual uh, occlusal point angle area. This is a distal cusp. The distal cusp is much the smallest and shortest of the five cusps, but it's relatively sharp. Lingual cusp ridge, it extends mesolingually to the end in the distal tip area. Compared to other triangular ridges of posterior tip, it is short and poorly defined. Mesial cusp ridge, the mesial cusp ridge extends from the cusp tip mesobuccally to the distobuccal groove. 
It's a four cut switches are rocker cut switch. The rocker cut switch uh, runs as a vehicle direction and uh, occupies much of the area surrounding the distro bucket line angle. Okay, lever cusp bridge okay, major cusp bridge okay, distal cusp bridge okay. Uh, next is the transfer switches. There are no transfer switches on the occlusal surface of the mandibular cusp bridge. Main difference of here that the maxillary cusp molar may uh, normally four cusp of the one extra cusp, cusp of carabinet present of the head, oblique ridge present of the head, transfer switches present of the head. Mandibular cusp molar may kya hai? Five cusp uh, normally present of the head, three buccal cusp of the or two lingual cusp of the head. This way, no, uh, no transverse ridge and no oblique ridge. Marginal ridges, uh, two marginal ridges uh, are the major and distal marginal ridges and uh, enclose those limits of the occlusal surface. Okay. Uh, the medial marginal ridge, uh, distal marginal ridge, this is the buccal spine, this is the lingual spine. Okay. Medial buccal, distal buccal, and uh, distal uh, cusp. This is the distal uh, buccal group, buccal group, this is the lingual group. Uh, fossas. Okay. There are three fossas. A recognizable a fossa on the occlusal table with the central fossa encompassing by for the largest area. Okay. This is the central fossa. As the name implies, this fossa is located in the central portion of the occlusal table. It is circular in shape and the largest and deepest of the three fossa. Okay. This is the central fossa. Shape kya hogi? Circular shape. Boundaries kya hogi? It is bounded by the triangular ridges of the four major cusp as well as the distal cusp ridges of the mesial buccal and the mesial lingual cusp and mesial cusp ridges of the distal buccal and distal lingual cusp. Mesial triangular fossa. This is the mesial triangular fossa. Mesial triangular fossa is location and limit similar to uh, the same fossa on other posterior teeth. It is deeper and more distant than the distal triangular fossa. It is boundaries include the mesial marginal ridges, triangular ridges of the two mesial cusps and the mesial cusp ridges of the two mesial cusps. Okay, mesial cusp, this one mesial cusp ridges, mesial buccal cusp ridge and uh, mesial lingual cusp ridges. This is the marginal ridges, this is the triangular ridges. Uh, distal triangular ridge uh, fossa, this is the distal triangular fossa. This is the Central fossa, mesial triangular fossa, and distal triangular fossa. Three fossas are present in the mandibular first uh, molar. In maxillary molars, four fossas: two major fossas and two minor fossas. Major fossa is Central fossa and distal fossa. Minor fossa, mesial and distal fossa. In mandibular uh, first molar, three fossas are present on the occlusal surface. Uh, major fossa is the central fossa, uh, mesial triangular fossa, and distal triangular fossa. Uh, this fossa has a location similar to the counterparts on the other posterior teeth. It is shallow and least distant of the three occlusal fossa on the table. Okay, it is bounded by portions of the distal cusp and distal marginal ridges. This is the distal marginal ridges and as well as the triangular ridges of the distal and distal lingual cusp. Next is the pits and grooves. Okay, three pits are present. The occlusal surface 
of the first molar has the most complex groove pattern of any of the mandibular molars. Number one is the central pit. This is the central pit. The central pit is located in the central fossa and is the deepest pit on the occlusal surface. It is situated midway basodiscally and more than halfway from buccal to the lingual. It is at the junction of the three primary developmental groups. Mesobuccal, okay, central pit. This is the central pit. Central pit may kya uh, This group extends from the central pit buccally onto the buccal surface. In its most lingual portion, it is confluent with the mesial portion of the central group. Is make a mesial buccal group. This is a mesial buccal group. Okay, or ye kya hai central pit. Central pit ke under kya hai buccal group attach hoga. Uh, this group extends from the central pit buccally onto the buccal surface. In its most lingual portion, it is confluent with the mesial portion of the central group. Distal buccal group. Okay. क्या होगा डिस्टो बकल ग्रुप डिस्टो बकल ग्रुप स्टैंड्स इन डिस्टो बकल डायरेक्शन ठीक है ये क्या होगा आपका बकल ग्रुप हो गया और ये क्या है डिस्टो बकल ग्रुप ठीक है दिस इज द लिंगुअल ग्रुप अब क्या है बकल ग्रुप और डिस्टो बकल ग्रुप आर अटैच्ड इन द सेंट्रल ग्रुप बिट द डिस्टो बकल ग्रुप स्टैंड्स द डिस्टो बकल डायरेक्शन from the central pit onto the buccal surface in its most lingual area. It's confluent with the distal portion of the central group. Okay, this is the central group. This is the yeah, central pit. Lingual group. The lingual group. This is the lingual group. The lingual group extends from the central pit lingually onto the lingual surface. This is the mesial pit. The mesial pit is situated halfway buccolingually in the deepest area of the mesial tri uh, triangular fossa. It is not as deep as the central pit. This pit is the junction of four dwarf mental groups. Number one is the central group, second is the mesiobuccal triangular group, third is mesial marginal group, and fourth is the mesiolingual triangular group. This is a mesial uh, pit, mesial triangular fossa. This is the kya hai? mesiobuccal triangular group, mesiolingual triangular group, mesial marginal group, and central group. Four groups are attached in the mesial pit. Distal pit, the distal pit is located midway buccolingually in the depth of the distal triangular fossa. It is not so deep as uh, the central uh, mesial pit. It is the union of three dwarf mental groups. Central group, distal lingual triangular group, and distal marginal group. The central group is uh, entirely extends from the mesial pit to the distal pit uh, and includes its mesial portion, its distal portion, and segments of the mesial buccal and distal buccal. Group. Roots. Uh, the mandibular first molar uh, has a root trunk uh, which uh, bifurcates to form mesial and distal roots branches. Uh, both roots are uh, widest buccolingually and uh, both may have developmental depressions on the mesial and distal root surfaces. Some longitudinal groups are root concavity. Uh, two roots present, mesial root and distal root. Mesial root, the mesial branch, is the widest and the strongest of the two roots. It uh, cuts mesially from the cervical line to the middle third 
and then angled slightly distally to the apex. Its buccal and lingual surfaces are more convex uh, throughout their length, while the mesial and distal surfaces are flattened to uh, concave. Depending on the presence and prominence of longitudinal groups. Distal root, uh, the distal branch is generally smaller and uh, weaker than the uh, medial root. It is usually straight, uh, but on occasion it occurs mesially or distally in the apical form. Normally, only the mesial root surface has a longitudinal group. The buccal and lingual surfaces are convex throughout the length. Mid root section in cross section at this level, both roots are wider at the mini at the and the mesial root has a large outline. The outline is convex buccally and the lingually on uh, both roots, mesially and distally. The outline is uh, flattened or concave depending on the presence and uh, prominence of longitudinal groups. Mandibular first molar is finished. Anatomical landmarks can be first of all, elevation sacrum. Okay. Five cusps. On buccal surface are present five cusps, mesial buccal, distal buccal, and distal buccal. Lingually, mesolingual, and distolingual cusps. Mesial marginal ridges, this is the distal marginal ridges. One major central fossa and central pit, two minor fossas, mesial and distal triangular fossas, dual pentel grooves. Central groove is zigzag shape. This is the central group. This is the Buccal group. This is the distobuccal group and lingual group. Variations and anomalies. Uh, the first molar is able uh, to dual mental anomalies uh, on rare occasions. The ground made leg uh, are distal first. Mulberry molars, uh, the mulberry molars along with the Hodgkin's incisors uh, are a consequence of congenital sepulus. On the first molars, the cusps are more centrally positioned on the occlusal table, creating a general appearance. The first molar exhibits three roots, uh, when the mesial root has buccal and lingual branches, five cavities, uh, pulp chamber, the pulp chamber is broad, mesial distal. It is almost rectangular in shape. There is a pulp horn beneath each cusp. This is the pulp horn. Root canals, three main root canals. Mesial root, two roots canals, while distal root has one root canal. The two mesial root canals appear in X-ray overlapping each other. Abnormalities you may find. This is the abnormalities. Three are four roots. Okay, mandibular first molar there. Three are four roots. Four root canals. Now, uh, 
enumerate the names of the following admissions entry questions. What is this? Because the group is central group. So very good for that one. What is this? Thank you. आप जो मैंने आपसे पूछा है, ये कौन सा स्ट्रक्चर आपका नजर आ रहा है? Mr. Marshall Bridge. What is this? सर आप बताइए ये क्या है? What is this structure? Hello, Fatma. Uh, time, what is this structure? Okay. Uh, central uh, page. Okay. 
Duty Dream Center photo. What is this? Which of the structure is there? What can you? This is the triangular part. Very good, you know. This is triangular part. What is this? What is this? Media buckle, no, good. The consist of this of buckle of the new one. Buckle, very good. This one. Medium. This one. This one suspected. Uh, lingual. Numan, uh, you have to medibular molars, uh, medibular teeth, they are lingual aspect. जो अपर होते हैं उनमें आपका पैलेटल एस्पेक्ट होता है क्योंकि आपके अपर जो है वो पैलेटल पैलेट मौजूद होती है तो इसको हम पैलेटल कहते हैं जब लिंगुअली अगर हम कहेंगे तो वो मेंडिबुलर टुवर्ड्स द लिंगुअल तो उसको हम लिंगुअल एस्पेक्ट कहते हैं ओके लास्ट पिस्टल Surface and teeth and lingual surface and uh, mesial surface and distress. How is the identification? Kis ke se kar sakte hai? Identification features kya hai? Uh, the medibular first molar has five cusps and two well formed roots. The discal cusp is the smallest cusp and helps to identify the root and its size. Uh, side identification kya hoke smallest cusp that is the uh, uh, distal cusp helps uh, in identifying uh, the side root of a show distal curvature. Okay. A uh, mandibular first molar ko hum ek, uh, just revise kar lete hain. Okay. Uh, uh, isme kya hoke five groups hoke hain medial buccal, distal buccal, mesial lingual, distal lingual and distal. Okay. Roots kitni hoti hain? Two roots hoti hain mesial root and distal root. कस्प जो है आपके कस्प क्या होते हैं मीजियो बकल डिस्टो बकल मीजियो लिंगल डिस्टो लिंगल एंड डिस्टल फाइव कस्प होते हैं रीजेस कितनी होती हैं मीजियो कस्प रीजेस डिस्टल कस्प रीजेस ट्राइंगुलर रीजेस ऑफ़ द कस्प बकल रीज ऑन बकल कस्प लिंगल रीज और मार्जिनल रीजेस कौन सी होंगी मीजियल एंड डिस्टल फोर्सेस क्या होंगे थ्री फोर्सेस होंगे वन मेजर फोर्स होगा सेंट्रल फोर्स है जो कि इरेगुलर शेप होता है माइनर फोर्स में क्या है मीजियल ट्राइंगुलर फोर्स है एंड डिस्टल ट्राइंगुलर फोर्स है ग्रूस कौन कौन से होंगे सेंट्रल डोलमेंटल ग्रू मीजियो बकल डोलमेंटल ग्रू डिस्टो बकल डोलमेंटल ग्रू एंड लिंगुअल डोलमेंटल ग्रू पिट्स कितनी होंगी थ्री पिट्स होंगी सेंट्रल इन सेंट्रल फोर्स है मीजियल पिट इन मीजियल ट्राइंगुलर फोर्स है डिस्टल इन ट्राइंगुलर फोर्स है बकल पिट ऑन द बकल सरफेस लिंगुअल पिट ऑन द लिंगुअल सरफेस नो मेंडिबुलर फर्स्ट मॉडल कंप्लीट इंशाल्लाह टू मॉडल स्टार्ट द मेंडिबुलर सेकंड मॉडल एंड थर्ड मॉडल एनी क्वेश्चन ओके अल्लाह हाफिज़